Good evening, everyone. I'm Carmine Jume. It's Wednesday, so you know that means college basketball. The Casper College men and women hosting the Eastern Wyoming men and women in Region 9 competition. And for the Casper women, they only needed to win two out of their last four conference games coming into tonight to secure first place in the subregion. Here's head coach Dwight Ganeri right before tip-off. Try to keep everything the same, you know, as be focused on what we're supposed to do, what our game game assignments are, and try not to get them too amped up about because this is a big game or that's a big game. Just try to stay focused on what we do. This one, we're still we're still battling on this one for the title. And here's the introductions. You see Lucy Hoskova very serious, and that's exactly how she plays a handshake intro. And back to Maggie Justinak from Rock Springs, slick dime to Lucy and won. Last time Casper played Eastern, they won by 34 points. They made an incredible 24 three-pointers. But tonight for Eastern, it's Abril, Resach, Rore, Tapala, Martinez, Sangs. Spain to Spain. Lucky I was a Spanish minor in college or I would have fumbled my words there. Then it's the Spaniard again. She finished with a game-high 26 points and added 10 boards, did Paula. Eastern gets their revenge over Casper, 78-67. And Abril has bragging rights over Casper point guard Raquel Ferrer Bernad because those two grow up together back in Spain. Here's Tom Anderson after the Region 9 win. Well, we changed our game plan. Um, we covered the shooters a little better, and we tried to double up the post kid. She still scored on us. She's really tough inside, but... Our kids did the game plan, and, and uh, fortunately they missed some shots, and we made some. And the Eastern and Casper men played tonight in the late game. Just a quick story on one of the players from Casper, Benny Fungula from Sweden. I was joking with Benny because he's got a great personality, and I made one of my usual corny jokes, and I said, Benny, you put the fun in Fungula. And Benny looks at me and goes, no, Carmine, not fun, funs. He's got a lot of style, does Benny. So I talked to Benny Funs Fungula and got his take on the T-Birds jerseys right before the game. So he's sitting here with his heart-shaped necklace, eating well, carrots. I'm not sure why. I hope you can still talk, Benny. I'll, I'll break my chain. You know what I'm saying? Uh, <laughs> so uh, you it, it if you can't understand him, it's because he's getting his uh, vitamins and minerals in. But we want to break down Kieran's outfit because yeah, it's yeah, military yeah. appreciation night. So what do you see here, Benny? You know what I mean? We got some like this. I don't know how much that costs, like $200. <laughs> Like my chain, right here, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. If you go down yeah. to your socks, uh -huh. everything's matching, yeah. like my shoes, yeah. you know what I mean? And you think these guys want to see some Region 9 hoops? I think they've got some carrots in their system. It was close early. Jordan Potts hits the three for Eastern, then right back down the other way, some fancy fast-forwarding. Brock Finston knocks down a three of his own. And then you know this young man is going to make you say ooh, ah, and everything in between almost every game. Isaac Bonton, the Don, double behind the back, and the deep three. Later in the first half, Wilfred, the guy, Lakai, nice look to Brock in the corner, and the man bun is having man fun. Our Hawaiian portion of the crowd, loving that. Then Bonton from the logo. Get out of here. The Don, Brock, and Amin Adam, you combined for 53 of the T-Birds, 68 points tonight. The number 10 team in the country beats Eastern 68-45. They've got the season sweep winning three over Eastern this year. And the T-Birds are now 25-2 and 15-0 at home. 